4,000. 4,000? Say it again. 4,000! That's good. There are 4,000 people in line. Say 4,000. 4,000? Why do you wear a crappy shirt? I don't understand that. You're good Cindy's making guy. fun of my shirts. He is a good looking guy, but Sean cannot throw away any white t-shirts. Look at the It's holes. a work shirt. It's holes. Yeah, okay? it's a work shirt. I buy him nice shirts, and this is what he wears on film. It's a work shirt. You guys might think that he can't afford a shirt, but he can afford a nice I've, shirt. I've he likes his white t-shirt. He to holds on them, to them. Yeah. He holds on because to them. Because they reflect heat. They reflect heat. Because he is hot. And it's you guys understand she doesn't work on tractors. That's okay. I don't have to work on tractors. Okay. All right, so anyways, we're at Dunkin' Donuts, and uh, Cindy has her skateboard. 4,000! I have my uh, King Song 18L, and I also have my one wheel here. Wait. Right here. I got my board. Got her board. Very cool. Yeah. So, um, you heard me mention yesterday a lot on the ride about the, uh, you know, how it was weird that the battery only charged at 76%. Well, I charged it again last night overnight. And uh, guess what? It only charged at 76%. So anyways, yeah, I had my uh, wheel charging all night. Still did not charge to full. So um, I was then pretty darn sure that I got a problem. So I uh, posted something about it on the electric unicycle forum. Someone mentioned that uh, I should check the voltage coming out of the charger, which was a you know, good suggestion. So I did put my meter on the charger, and it is outputting... Uh, 85 volts so it is not the charger and like I mentioned again still the fresh off the charger the battery pack in the wheel is only showing 77 or 78 volts so unfortunately I think that there might be some bad cells in this pack I uh, sent a message to Jason at eWheels Jason at eWheels waiting to hear back from him but um, yeah there's gonna have to be some sort of resolution which is a bummer Void sticks though. Lots of pine needles here. Cindy's excited to get the Meepo. Be interesting to see how that contrasts with riding her uh, regular skateboard here. Yeah, there's, a, there's like a very slight downhill here that Cindy rode on the board. It was nice. She did good. She looks pretty, pretty stable. The only negative on this path from a uh, skateboard point of view is there's a lot of pine needles and some branches and stuff, so you got to kind of avoid those, but uh, yeah, otherwise uh, she's doing well. And he's carving along, more stone and... Oh, good. That's still not... Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's fine then. You're doing good. That's a, le that's a legit carve. So this gives me a little bit of practice doing some uh, low speed maneuvering on this because as I mentioned I, uh, I don't have a good feel for uh, turning it in close quarters yet. Go skater girl. Pit farm skater. Downhill again. Bumps. So yeah, I am bummed out that the, uh, the wheel does not appear to be 100%. You know, I've, I don't know. It's a bummer. Still rides great, just my range is uh, reduced. Should be fine otherwise.
So Cindy's board is a little bit more than penny board size, so the Meepo is going to be a lot bigger. It's like a, almost like a long board, I guess, because it's 41 inches, so it'll be interesting to see how that feels in comparison. It's going to be awesome. I have to be honest, with slow riding like this, I keep thinking, oh, I wish I was on the one wheel. <laughs> yeah, for this kind of riding. I definitely don't have a good feel for the physics of the wheel when it comes to turning. I've made the battery packs higher than what I'm used to, but it's of course it's no it can't be any worse than the monster, but um yeah, I'm definitely not doing a great job trying to turn tight. So Cindy and I discovered why it was so much easier for her to go this uh, other direction. Because we have a headwind now that she's pushing against and uh it was pushing her uh towards the gulf, but now going back against it it's uh, significantly more challenging for her. We're thinking about setting up a a tow rope situation here that I could tow her. What? Squeezing those glutes while I walk. Four thousand! Definitely should have brought the one wheel. If she's on a regular skateboard, I should be in the one wheel. Works out better. You know, faster, because I'm too close, probably. The GoPro though, you gotta be close to get a good picture. Okay. Now it's downhill! Doesn't look like the most efficient way to skateboard, but I guess if your legs are tired. Hundred and fifty yards to go. Cindy's showing her gracefulness. One footed, nice. Good job. Very good. How do you feel? Especially since I already great. did a 40 minute workout. Yeah, it's a hard yeah, workout. Yeah, you're filming the car. <laughs> in the car. And my coffee. Grab your coffee. Oh. Or something. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I love my skateboard. You're sitting on the one wheel right now. Huh? The camera's sitting on the one wheel right now. Oh, okay. I need my water. 4,000. Alright, so we're stopping at the grocery store on the way home, and I'm going to probably get the one wheel out and ride around the parking lot there, so see you there. Welcome to one wheel time. So, um, I think my last one wheel video was me testing the pressure pads, and I said how I was up in the air about what I was going to do. Um, I did respond back to Future Motion saying that, you know, I was getting the, um, the I guess they call it an error 15 where it says I need my personal space where it's detecting pressure on the pads even though you're not touching them. And I responded to them and said, hey, I, I think I would like to get a new pressure pad uh, in an email and uh, I have not heard a thing since. No replies. And if I sent a, se a second email a couple days ago, still no reply to that. So I guess I'm gonna have to call them uh, Monday or Tuesday or whatever and say, hey, let's, uh, let's get moving on this because I'd rather um, err on the side of caution and just get a new set of pads. All right, so I'm in the Valencia, or I'm actually, yeah, I'm in Valencia Lakes right now. Cindy's uh, doing some grocery shopping, so uh, I'm doing some riding. I am bummed out that there apparently is some sort of issue with the battery in my brand new 18L. That's disappointing. I've, I've read a lot in the forums of various issues with the 18L, which um, are not typical of King Song products normally, but unfortunately it seems like the 18L has had uh, uh, several uh, issues that have been reported. And uh, unfortunately it looks like I got another one of them. It doesn't feel very hard going right from uh, EUCs onto the one wheel. Not that awkward. Actually, I think it's worse the other way around. I'm doing a, like a one wheel riding and then just try to hop on an EUC, that feels more foreign than uh, this. 
So Marty and I are going to be doing the um, EUC live stream again tonight, Sunday. It's going to be starting a little bit later, 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific. Um, I have an engagement tonight, this evening, so I wanted to push it back so I would uh, not have a time crunch. So yeah, 9 o'clock Eastern tonight, tune into my channel, watch Marty and I talk about his uh, Z10 experiences, my 18L experience so far, and whatever else comes to mind. Looking forward to getting my Meepo this week, my first ever electric skateboard. Um, I should have checked the shipping again, this is coming FedEx. And it said it was in Belle Isle, Florida. It's going the same route as my uh, 18L did. It said it was in Belle Isle at 4 o'clock this morning. So um, it'll be interesting to see if it shows up Wednesday or shows up early. Because it certainly could show up early. That'd be okay with me. Riding the sidewalks is a little bit more challenging than uh, just riding in the middle of the road. Good to get out on the board though a little bit for sure. Come back. Riding through a busy parking lot is not my idea of fun. How many groceries did you get? 4,000 pieces of groceries. What I if you include the blueberries and everything. Yeah. Alright, so I'm done. Oh. Enough for now. That's some goodies. Watermelon was buy one, get one free. The girls will be so happy. I right, hope you enjoyed the ride and until uh, next time, stuff me now. Don't forget to like and subscribe 4,000 times. Bye.